Welcome to my first time in Hawaii. I'm so excited to take you to some of the stores that I visited while I was in Waikiki. And I went into Chanel, Tiffany's, and of course Gucci, where I tried on the bag that I was really looking at and considering. So here I'm at Chanel, and I only took still photos because there were so many sales associates that were just hovering on me. So I took a few photos. There was not a ton of merchandise that was out, but I'm gonna show you one of the brooches that I uh, tried on and a few other bags that were on display. this tweed bag in particular I just loved that pearl strap with all the variations and sizes it's so beautiful and then I tried on this golden black brooch because I just love brooches but I left it behind because I have enough I also stopped in Tiffany's because I had met a lady at dinner and she was wearing this beautiful necklace and I asked her where she got it from and she said it was from Tiffany's. So of course I wanted to stop in and check it out and to my surprise it was a cool 18,500 US dollars so it was crazy expensive. Also comes with this beautiful matching earring and I also tried on this pearl variation. I will link all these beautiful pieces below in the description box in case you're interested. Okay guys, we're going into Gucci now. There is a wall of Jackie bags in all sorts of colors, sizes, and variations. And then there is a bunch of Matlasse bags in the leather embossing, which is beautiful. Okay, so I had to try on this gorgeous mini Ophidia bag in the Boston bag style. And I really, really, really love this in the navy colorway because I have such nostalgic flashbacks and feelings on this bag. Growing up as a kid, I used to go to church every Sunday with my family and my mom had a bag that looked exactly like this in the same colorway, just a little bit bigger. So I remember this as her church bag and I just grew up remembering this bag. And then fast forward many, 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 many years later when I finally got into handbags and then I dug it out of the closet one day, I looked at it and the thing was completely wrecked and it was clear to me that it was a fake bag and it was never real, which makes complete sense. My mom was never into designer bags. Even though it was fake, it doesn't matter. It gives me such nostalgic vibes of memories of my mom carrying that bag with her Bible in it every Sunday. And it just makes me want to get this bag just for that reason, which sounds so crazy, but I still love it. I'm not a shoulder bag person, but I think this Ophidia bag is really, really cute and such a great size and the size small. This mini 
Diana bag has such a pretty little chain that's attached to it. It has the crystals on the body of the bag, which is really pretty. So cute. I don't need it though, but it's really fun to try on. This is the mini horse bit bag in the crystal as well, and it is so cute. I forgot to look at the Hawaiian price, but generally speaking, it's about 10% less than the mainland USA price. Okay friends, this is the main event. This is the reason why I came into the Gucci store. I needed to try on the Diana bags and the bamboo handle. Specifically, I was after the light green color, but they didn't have the light green color in the small size, so they only had it in white. They had the light green color in the medium size, which is what I'm trying on right now. Surprisingly, the medium size is very, very lightweight. It's a fully leather bag. It has cotton lining on the inside, but the outside is obviously fully leather and then the bamboo handle. It's very lightweight considering it's a very decent size. I just didn't like the color. The light green color looked a lot more vibrant online when I saw it than it does in real life here. And it just looked a little bit dull. It just didn't do anything for me. And if I'm being honest, I think the closure, while I think it's interesting, is definitely a little bit annoying because it does these weird creases if it doesn't close properly and you kind of have to fiddle around with it. So I didn't love the closure. The price is $27.90 in Hawaii. But I am so glad that I tried it on because it made all the difference in the world to try it on and actually see it in real life. The leather was really nice. It was very supple and soft. This is the same bag in size small. It is $23.35 in Hawaii, so about 10% less than the mainland USA price. And I am 5'2", so it's a good size. And for a size small bag, it's actually uh, quite spacious inside and you can see how wonky it can kind of look with the creasing and bends in the leather Maybe that's the beauty of the bag, but I don't really love that look After trying on both small and medium Diana bags. I've decided it's not for me. Unfortunately I love these vintage looking blondie bags with the metal logo It's so old-school looking but the profiles are way too flat these are some other variations of the Blondie bag. I'm not really into these as much. These here are some of the new Gucci travel bags. Also, some of these leather bags, this is part of the Ophidia line, and they're all leather and laser cut diamond motif designs here, and so they're kind of cool. the Gucci horse bit bag but in the east-west version this is a pretty shade of green but it's a little too pistachio and I'm not really that's not the shade I'm looking for even though it's really pretty it comes with this beautiful chain
I always love these Gucci trunks. I actually prefer the Gucci trunks over the Louis Vuitton trunks, if I'm being honest. I think they're so much prettier, just a lot nicer looking, but uh, these are also just so iconic to the Gucci line, which I absolutely love. Taking a quick shoe break here, and these brown shoes are so pretty. I love them so much. They're so 1970s-esque to me that I don't know what it is about that style of shoe and that shade of brown is so perfect, but these are some dad sandals. I'm not really into that. Here's some platform sandals, which I find to be very clunky and heavy, and some sneakers. Okay, so someone please tell me when basic sneakers turned into $1,100 price tags. I mean, I don't know. these. Sneakers don't look like anything special. They look like regular Nike type sneakers and $1,100 is crazy. These are some loafers. There wasn't a huge selection, unfortunately. As you know, if you watch my channel, I'm really into loafers because they're so comfortable. This is a bag that really surprised me. This is a size small and I tried it on where it can be worn crossbody like I'm wearing it. I don't love the way you can do it crossbody, but surprisingly, it looks really, really cute on, in my opinion. So this horse bit small chain bag comes with two short shoulder straps. One is fully chain and one is fully leather. And the way you wear it crossbody is that you attach both of those short chains together and to make it one long crossbody. And that's how I'm wearing it now. So it's hard to tell because you can't see the back of that chain. The front of the strap is chain. The back of that strap is leather. So I don't like the way that looks. It looks like an afterthought. You can see it peeking through a bit here, but I don't like the way the crossbody chain is done in that way. It just looks too much like an afterthought, but it really looks cute as a clutch. It really looks nice as a crossbody, the way it hangs on me. And of course, it's a really cute shoulder bag. So this really surprised me. It also comes in the leather version. This is also the size small. And coming up, I'm trying on the larger version of the Ophidia canvas line. You can also make this size a crossbody by attaching the leather and chain strap together to make it one and hang it crossbody. Again, I don't really love that look, but this size is a little bit too big for my frame at 5'2", in my opinion. Okay guys, coming up next week, I'm going to be showing you a video at Louis Vuitton where I show you so many beautiful Capucine bags. I'm gonna try them on. You're gonna find out if I got one or not, and it's gonna be so exciting. It's gonna be so good, so unreal, and so beautiful, so stay tuned, and I really appreciate you watching, and thank you so much. Stay tuned for part two next week. Bye.